Hello, thanks for joining me for another beer review. Today I've got a beer from the Good H Brewing Company and this is their Magic Gardens. It's a mosaic IPA then coming in at 5.7% ABV. Lovely looking, summery looking can. Looks magic. But yeah, so a brewery new to me. Um, they recently done a, an online absolute steal of a deal, um, 10 beers for £20 and I went ahead and got it. Um, so yeah, 10 beers for 20 quid. I can't remember if that was including shipping or not. Doesn't matter, it's still very good. So yeah, lovely summery looking can as I've just said. Awesome. These guys are out of Falmouth down in Cornwall and they are a brewery that so it says this starting as a mostly wild brewery foraging ingredients and cultivating wild yeast we are now also producing more hot forward beers to increase their range so this is a hot forward beer mosaic ipa then any other information here um it says why overcomplicate things uh, sometimes one hop is all you need indeed uh placing the focus on strong flavor of mosaic hops we've made a brew that's simple yet moorish um, and it goes into flavour notes which I'll, I'll leave there so don't know when it was canned but it's got a best before March of 2022 so it's fairly fresh I would imagine and I've just realised it's pretty ropey on top of the can there so let's give it a little clean up you get this sometimes sometimes they just uh, they accumulate a little bit of, of muck I'm just going to get that out of there for a second bear with me you know that rim on the top of the rim of the can, you, you just sometimes get a little bit of stuff there, so that'll do for now. Let's crack this beer open then, see what we'll get out of it. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I've got a whole range of styles. There's a few hot forward beers I'm going to start with, and then some more kind of a goes and, and saison, and I think there's one or two darker beers that I'll probably, uh, certainly one I'll be having in the autumn, which is a porter, I believe. So, beer in a glass. It's kind of a, a dark orange, um, almost to the point where that kind of riny kind of marmalade sort of colour. So into the light, a bit decent carbonation running up through the beer, as you can see. One finger-ish, white, tight head on that one. A little bit of haze, nothing crazy. Um, so yeah, let's give it a swirl and a sniff. Well, that is different. That is different. It's kind of a dank, but it's also got more of a kind of a, a very floral note to it. Slight pine, but yeah, almost like a, like a fruit salad, floral, uh, wild flowers. An interesting aroma. It's dank. There is a slight kind of hint of that uh, cat pee type thing you can get from from mosaic cops, but it's not it's not crazy in your face. Um, but it's there. But yeah, really um, interesting. Whether it's down to the yeast they're using. Is there any, any other information there? Or is it what I've just read? No. There's a little bit of pininess, I suppose, but it's really more of a very floral, very juicy, citrusy, passion fruit, touch of mango even. Some kind of that dried fruits you get. Slightly sweet. Let's give it a try and see what it's like on the taste. Cheers. Oh yeah, definitely getting more of that kind of danky cat pee on the, on the taste. A real kind of strong marmalade kind of presence, um, rind marmalade, almost a little bit of um, a touch of um, The orange, I can't, I can't. Blood orange, get it right. Juicy, 
touch of grapefruit in there. Definitely passion fruit. A little bit kind of grassy, hop oily. But very clean, very smooth, like a medium to low medium body. Easy drinking, not really kind of getting the ABV of the beer. Kind of nice mouthfeel, not. Um, oh, it's very smooth coming out of the can. Getting a more of a kind of a, a, a slight kind of a wine gum stroke um, jelly baby kind of taste just on the back of the palate just then. That kind of um, fruit salad aspect. A little bit sweet but not overly. But overall, wonderful beer. A lovely introduction to the brewery. Um, our mosaic brew highlights the cop complex flavour profile with rich citrus, sweet mango and stone fruit flavours with fresh cut grass, there we go, and pine on the nose. Not, I'm getting more pine on the taste than the nose. The grains in this are extra pale, carapils and Vienna malts. Um, Mosaic and then US05 is the yeast they're using for this one. Um, keep me cold, drink me fresh, usual kind of stuff there. Um, so yeah, another brewery in Cornwall. So very kind of uh, the same town as uh, Verdant. Mosaic IPA, Magic Gardens. Can't we? Mm. Very easy drinking. Um, and uh, yeah, a delightful little beer. I'm really looking forward to the others now because this one's really pleasant. Would I buy it again? If I saw it on draft anywhere, I'd buy it. Um, highly unlikely that they're going to be on draft at my end of Kent, East Kent. Um, but you never know. If there's a, uh, you know, if I see them, if I go to a beer festival and they're around, I'll be sure to uh, to be trying one or two beers, whether it's this beer or others, just to just to see what they're like on on draft. So uh, yeah. Anyway. Wild by name, Cornish made, Good H Brewing Company out of Falmouth in Cornwall. This is their Mo, uh, I keep saying Mosaic, Magic Gardens. Check them out. All the information will be down below, of course, and eventually there will be a playlist. So by the time you've seen, if you're looking in the future, then there'll be a playlist down below. Anyway, thanks for watching then. You'll keep safe, look after yourself, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.